Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And as promised, I'm gonna give you five things I love about the GE Profile all-in-one combo washer-dryer. Washer-dryer combo. And a few things that I don't love about it. And, and again, this is not any way sponsored or I'm not affiliated with GE in any way, shape, or form. But, GE, if you see this, maybe we can work out a deal. First up, I mean, this is like the main one and like the whole overall main love part of it is there's no load transfer. So you literally put a laundry, a dirty load of laundry in and you come back to a dried, clean set of laundry. That's like the number one, no load transfer, duh. Number two, love the smart dispenser. Literally just buy some detergent, fill her on up, up to 50 ounces, and you set it and forget it and the washer will tell you when you need, when it's time to get more. It also has smart dispensing softener, but we don't use softener. And our washer lets us know it every time. Third thing I love about this GE profile is the space saving. Hello, space saving. I have so much more room to put other stuff. We put a litter box on the other side where like a washer or a dryer would have gone. And honestly, I have no idea where we put it. would have put the litter box otherwise. So it worked out great for us. Love that this sucker only takes up this much space. Fourth thing I love is that it connects to your phone, which is probably like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe that's like a standard thing for washer and dryers nowadays. I don't even know. But she connects to your phone, lets you know when she gives you a five minute warning when your wash is about, when the whole load is about to be complete. And then it tells you when it's done as well. And then also you can like track your energy usage and how many loads you've done and like check your detergent and softener on there. You can do all sorts of things with the app. So I like that it connects to your phone. If you haven't seen the app and you want a tour of the app, you can check out my previous video about my overall review of, the, of this wonderful appliance in my other video on my channel where you should subscribe. Another thing I love is the light. So when she's on and ready for you to load her up, there's so much light and ample light there's so much light and I love that because it like helps me grab all the baby, baby socks and all the things that might be in there and make sure I don't miss anything. Now let's talk about what I don't really love about this thing, which isn't much. There's not much I don't love. The first thing I don't love is purely on me. It's purely on who I am as a person. It has taken some getting used to to put something in here that has a stain that I kind of forgot about and then it washes and dries, and then I come back to a dried, stained shirt or onesie or whatever. That has taken some learning to do where I just need to remember that there's something stained and I need to unclick dry and just wash them and then check it. That's on me. It's a purely learning thing. I've totally gotten used to it though, and it, I got it down. Another thing I kind of don't like, and maybe this is all new washer and dryers, I have no idea because I've never had a brand new washer and dryer, um, but there's like a scent and I think maybe, I'm really assuming that all washer and dryers have scents when they're brand new. There's a scent and it's definitely on our clothes, um, but I definitely think you can get it out um, doing the sanitize with oxy cycle, run that through your washer and the scent will probably come right out of the washer and stop scenting our clothes. We just haven't done that yet. Yeah, and it's not a bad scent, it's just like a new washer and dryer smell. Like, you know, when you get a new furniture, you get a new couch, and your whole living room smells like a new couch? It's kind of like that. This isn't something that I don't like about it, but it's something I wanted to mention, because I forgot in my last video, is when the washer and dryer is done, like freshly done, you got the reminder on your phone and you go get your dry clothes. When you open it up, there you're and you grab a piece of clothes, it is actually a tiny bit damp, but it's not damp, it's like, this crazy technology feeling um, because you grab out your piece of clothes, you give it a shake and it's actually dry. Like it's not actually damp. It's not, it's not wet in any way. It just feels damp and it's the craziest thing to me. So not a con or a pro. It's just something to be aware of with this thing. Um, don't be caught off guard if your clothes feel wet, feel damp, but as you know, you should be able to take all your clothes out and you will then see in a matter of seconds, they're not actually damp, they feel dry. And it's just humid because of the heat pump. So it's like, 
I don't know, your body being outside on a humid day. I don't know. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs>